and welcome to Explore Biona. I'm Carolyn with Friends of Biona Wetlands and I want to welcome you to Summit to Sea, a series where we're exploring where water goes and how it flows. In our watershed video, we looked at the big picture of Biona Creek watershed. Now, we're going to start focusing on some areas where the water flows within this watershed. The way we're going to do that today is by looking closer at water moving on the surface of the earth. A river, creek, and stream, these are all similar words to describe a body of water moving by gravity to lower areas. The important part to remember is moving water. Near Biona Wetlands, we have two examples of a river, the Riparian Corridor near Biona Discovery Park and Biona Creek. Let's go check them out. The Riparian Corridor is a much smaller example of the habitat that was once in this area but it remains an important habitat and home to many plants and animals. Let's see what we can find. This here is an example of willow. There are many different species of willow, but they are almost always found near a source of water, like a river. They like to grow where there is plenty of water for them to grow. Some of the interesting things about willow is the leaves and bark actually are medicinal. They have the same chemical in it as you'd find in aspirin. Additionally, if you sometimes look at their leaves carefully, you can see that they have galls. A gall is where insects have laid their eggs as kind of a nursery. Do you see that flash of yellow in the cottonwood? It is a yellow warbler, a migratory bird that can be found near streams during its breeding season. Look closely, you can see an insect caught in its mouth. This tree here is a great indicator that you're near water, oftentimes a river. Its name is a western sycamore, and you can identify it with its very different colored bark, going from white to kind of a dark gray. It also has really cool big leaves that are very soft. Look up there, in the branches of the sycamore. There are not one, but two orange crown warblers. While you rarely see its orange spot on its head, you will see them near rivers eating insects. I think I see some birds down near the water, so let's get a closer look. This is a snowy egret. You can find them hunting in habitats with enough water, like rivers and wetlands. They can use their bright yellow feet to help stir up fish and aquatic animals to eat. They're also hard to miss with their all white feathers. It's been great to explore the riparian corridor. Now, let's go check out Biona Creek. Biona Creek has been around for a long time. While originally it would have had water flowing into it from the mountains and local springs, today it looks much different. After flooding in the early 1900s, and with a rapidly growing city, much of our local waterways were channelized. The streams were given cement walls, and in areas with more water, high levees were put in place to reduce the risk of future floods. We are now where our river, Biona Creek, meets the ocean. The man-made levees don't make for a great place for plants to survive, but we still have plants and animals that use this habitat. Unfortunately, we can also see evidence that the flowing waters in our city carry more than just water. Scattered all around the edges of Biona Creek is trash. Large and small, anything that is not disposed of properly can be swept up by the waters and carried down to lower areas. It can get caught along the shore, get carried out to the ocean, or sadly picked up by wildlife who mistake it for food. It can be disheartening to see all of this trash around, especially after rainstorms when we get so much of it. But there is something we can all do to help. Limiting the trash we create is a huge first step. Using reusable water bottles, straws, and containers are all reducing our impact on the planet. For the trash we do create, making sure it goes in the right disposal container is vitally important. And if you want to go the extra mile, participating in cleanups is a fun way to explore a river habitat and also help out at the same time. It was great visiting our local waterways with you. The next habitat for us to explore is wetlands and the amazing wildlife that call them home. So be sure to check out our other videos in this Summit to Sea series.